Make sure we can see what tell what instrument that is. Like show us. You can do play by play. Okay. Dr. Chewy is burnishing. Huh? Oh, there you go. You like burnishing the recording lectures. In the contact correct. Making sure the contact is correct. Yes. Um. Because I well, I talked to you. I'm using one of the composite tools right now. And we need to use it. See, it's about ESPN. The Ocho. And I talked to him, but he's not there right now. Bonding agent. He reaches for the bonding agent. I'll be, it'll be used as a prop. Starting to bond. Look at right that now. smooth layer. So, like, Alright, so bonding agent, you want to kind of get into the corners first? Yeah. Getting it into the corners first. Not, not so you can... Oh, right yeah. where the matrix yeah. band is. Oh, oh. Right problem. where the matrix oh. band is. Is that okay? Bonding past the margin. Or you want edge and bond past the margin. It's edge and bond oh. past the margin. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, oh. have you seen Dr. Yam's microphone? Like that one that looks like a stand? up. Yeah. What's going on here? Can we have a stand microphone somewhere? Do you have one on your desk? That would be cool. Yes, it's in my office. They're going to borrow it. Uh, they have to give it back. Yeah. Oh, it's just a prop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, looks good actually on the okay. on the recording. Looks good. Yeah. Second cure. This layer is up to the purple floor. Do the marginal reach next. Yeah. Next step, marginal reach. So, Dr. Chu, did you basically do two layer, two flat layers? You built, you built up the box to the pull pull level. Correct. Okay. So there's different ways you can do it. Dr. Watanami, you do a triangular aluminum. Um, for me, it's, it's easier for me to just do flat layer on top. As long as, as, long as I do layers. Is it a mouth uh, The the mouth. I keep the, the layer so pretty it. small to the amount of glimmer it should be. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so it's not Which is fine. Anonymous is good. But we need just. Just keeping the layering small so that the shrinkage is minimal. Now he's going to the marginal ridge. Now he's going to put on the marginal ridge. That's flat right now. Yeah, so right now it's flat, it up to the purple floor. Marginal ridge. Now it's doing marginal ridge. Pay very close attention to this part. Yeah, so before he put it in, he rolled it into a caterpillar type shape. Hot dog type shape. <laughs> very uh, cylindrical type material into the marginal ridge. So is that up to the marginal ridge already? Correct. This is the third layer. This is the third layer. Shaping the marginal ridge. Yes. He shaped it into a hot dog before he put it in. Which has worked for some of y'all. And the other time it literally looked like a hot dog sitting on top. So well, just like we said, blend it. So now he's blending it in. He's got that marker just starting to Are you worried about the the excess that's overflowing? Yeah, I'm gonna remove that first. Okay, he's gonna remove the excess. The marker ridge looks like there, right? Yeah, marker ridge looks good. Looks like looks like a tooth. Smoothing out the paddle. Marker ridge height looks about right. The height. Switch over to. What is it you use to gauge if your marginal ridge height looks right to you? It's a guesstimation. You're looking at the adjacent tube. Okay. Dr. Chu is using guesstimation. Guys are on pedo, can you please come up to the side real quick, please? Using this pointer thing to remove the excess. Notice that he's pulling with it, not pushing into it. Smoothing out. Marginal ridge is still looking a little high to me. So the marginal ridge is looking a little bit high right now. Just gonna shape it. Using the paddle tool to continually shape it. I'm using this inside to kind of plump up the marginal ridge. Okay, using the cylindrical tool to plump up the marginal ridge. More shaping, more removing of excess. My friend says it looks beautiful. <laughs> Stop it. Like here of the third layer, marginal ridge layer. He's using the technique called guesstimation. And then I might have a small, my little sub area here. Okay. No, actually that looks good. Okay. Looks good. Everything's lined up. Okay. So you notice that there's different ways of doing it. Slightly different from what mm -hmm. Dr. Watanabe does it. Dr. Chui, you said you, if you did have sub there, would you place more composite on? Would you place more composite on? If you were sub in that area, you, have, you would place more composite. And air inhibitor, you can add composite to your heart. Okay. But if you tend to polish it, if you polish it, then you remove the air inhibitor layer. Now you have to do a composite. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to start to build up the. So this composite, the preparation is so tiny that I'm going to do my best to kind of fix to kind of build up the buckle and the first. In this case, I'm going to build up the buckle first. Alright, go for it. No, like some, one of your classmates dropped it off. <laughs> oh.
Yeah. Can I um, you see the bottom layer? So for this, are you just doing one side? You're doing just yeah, the face side? Yeah, um, this, 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 this preparation is so tiny. Yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can pack it all the way to the bottom. Okay. Um, so since the prep is tiny, he's packing it all the way to the bottom. Yeah, just why we're having you have a larger preparation okay. because it's actually easy to store. But I'm making this tip of the instrument. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to press it down into the bottom first. You're using the tip of the instrument to press the composite into the bottom of the prep. I'm removing the artist's excess instrument. Yeah, so some people are doing really well with being able to blend it. Others have not. So it looks like, like you're doing really well. It's a hot dog that's on top. So when you're dragging it like that, are you worried about open margins? No, so I'm dragging it from the restoration to the margin. Okay, so you're dragging from restoration into the margin. So Dr. Chewy, if we were able to look along the fusel plane, is your the tip of your instrument, um, are you just resting it right on the anatomy? So that it's right. I'm just resting it right on the triangle ridge. Okay. Okay. So you're resting the tip of the instrument on the triangle ridge. You don't want to get caught. So I guess it appeared I'll remove it as much of the composite as I can. Do you think you can show that with the mirror? That it's a... The angle you're holding. Oh, really? Because they're all over there today. Oh, like the angle of your, the way you're holding the... Yeah. Uh, can you can you angle that? I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw that. That's what we want right there. Yeah, yeah, it's better. Cool. Yeah, perfect. just like that. Oh. Angling it that way. Like downward. So it just continues oh. that yeah. anatomy straight down. Basically into, into the groove. Correct. Mm -hmm. Dr. Chewy is in the groove. It's a little different, right? Yeah. So I'm doing layering it, right? I'm just building the buckle cusp tip first. Okay. Building the buckle cusp tip first. Uh, if you if you do decide to use this little hot, hot dog technique, um, you have to make sure that your gloves are clean. Okay. okay. It will it will um, it will pick up dust right. and debris. Okay. Do you always do buckle first? Uh, I do I whatever is easier for me. So in case it's just a buckle to, Okay. So it doesn't matter if you do buckle so or angle first. Yeah. Whatever is easier for you. Let's do that first. Like, I mean, it's already mounted in the... And you also mentioned that when you're rolling up the composite with your glove, make sure it's clean so it doesn't get contaminated. No, it's already sterilized, oh, okay. but it's mounted in the little endo. Um, right now. Usually it's better oh, it's just to just square it. So you're gonna, you're gonna you want to do show it two ways? So, but it's okay. You do so like, it okay, sure. hot dog way or I can yeah. square yeah. it. Yeah. So, so this is the alternate technique. Instead of rolling up into a hot dog, you can squirt the composite directly into the prep. Oh man, it's a little battery. Yeah. Little battery? Yeah, yeah. Little battery. Yeah. I just did all my max legs. But if it's already... So I'm continuing to press it and tap it into the preparation. Pressing it and tapping it into the preparation. He's on his tongue. He's in his tongue. So now the tip of that just rides on the composite. So the tip is riding on the composite on the other side. So basically, you're just following that central groove, shaping it. Got that anatomy going on. Anyways, hey, can you send, once you have an edit or anything, send it to us, because then you guys can have, we can load it as two different videos of how yeah, you guys Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. This is what everyone's going to be doing next week. It's going to look, it's going to look yes, perfect. Yes, this is what we're going to see next week, right? Yep. Beautiful rest of it. Oh, God. Key to this. Now I'm trying to, I'm spending my time to remove the excess composite. So we're moving the excess composite now. Oh my god. Low battery. Huh? Low battery? Uh oh. That's a chewy, that means hurry. <laughs> Alright, almost done. <laughs> almost done.
Make sure you remove all that excess oh, composite yeah. before you cure. Like, you have your forceps and your marginal ridge, like trying to oh, take off forceps. excess from that, but then What's just like ending up coming in the finishing part. Forceps? Like, kind of the uh, you can stop it. Now. Well, you can. Well, after this, would you the, polish or? Like when I when I make yeah. my yeah. Right, so remove the like, excess. Okay. If you make, if it's pretty much almost like. Forceps to remove the. No, I Mm, a cruzal, like how long is it? Yeah, it's a little bit of 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 a Oh, don't 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 over wedge it. So this is a little bit too tight. So you wedge it? don't wedge too much. So this is pretty loose. Otherwise, you'll be over contoured. Yeah, I mean, oh, it means resistance, and it's only used to adapt the bottom of the matrix. Okay, okay so, so the wedge is only used to adapt the matrix. Just by looking at the restoration, it's going to be over contoured. Right? Okay. So since it was over wedge prior, the restoration might be over contoured in this instance. Or the. And no, I just for Max. Oh, no, 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 that's what I need for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So honestly, like if you take a look at it, it's based on where you place your wedge placement of it and where you want to place it. You're just smoothing out the, the shape of it. So if I place my 12-blade in this orientation, I will always get a big type of margin. So in order to adapt it, I'm going to bend it back towards the distal. Mm -hmm. That way I can pull it back because you're just you're, you're spreading your teeth apart. The blade. Remember the wedge yeah. is the You're angling the blade to create like a rounder margin, right? Nope. Nope. Just so it's I can engage totally the bevel. Okay. okay. So you can engage the bevel on the tooth. That's kind of like you want to adapt more, right? Exactly. Shaping the proximal area. In the margin. The other day, I heard someone say there's an extra color up here. I did not check to see if I was missing one, but I think it was mine. Oh, Adrian. Uh, Adrian may have it. Yeah. And I'm pretty much done here. Pretty much done. Mark, uh, anatomy's okay. It's not the greatest. I'm going to use my blade to kind of help shape the marginal ridge just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Using the blade to shape the marginal ridge right now. Oh, yeah. oh we're recording it. Just, just pass the clinical exam. So, you see how the marginal ridge is somewhat straight, it's still a little bit high. Marginal ridge is lined up with the opposing tooth. It's so funny here, Gary. Here, right? Yeah. 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 Shaping the, the pits. You guys have an export? Okay, so I'm going to use this, I'm going to pin this as my explorer. The, using this instead of the explorer because we don't have the explorer right now. Feeling for the anatomy. Slightly sub in this area. Slightly sub in that area. Very, so nice margin on the palatal. Nice margin on the palatal. Slightly over contour. A little bit bulbous on this bone, right? How would you fix? Oh, you would use the 12 blade to correct that? Right on the side right here. Look at the. Using the 12 blade to correct the over contour. The first and second drawer then. 12 blade. Yeah. 12 blade. Use that. But don't get too crazy with it. Really? With the 12 blade, you want to adapt and not cut like straight into it. Right? I just want to get down and move this. Yeah, it's this okay. way, right? So then that contour, see how it's still a little bit it's over contour? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's because the wedge was um, a little bit, was placed a little bit oh, too contoured. Too tight. Contoured. Remember, we have to change it. 
because that wedge. It and I'm using the same password that they changed and it doesn't work. Don't over wedge. Because after we had that air yesterday that we had to log off. Um, the only so other... A little bit sub right there. Do the original password. Not the new one. That's what happened to me. I think he gave it to me. Oh, nice. Who can I go see if I'm locked out? Uh, air blowing. Just to remove the excess composite. Just removing the excess composite. Good. I think that's our class two composite yeah, now restoration. Now we can finish it um, with a white stone. We so finish it off with white stone. I'll take the white stone, stone and just kind of go over the margins. Very 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 okay. So now you can take the white stone, go over the margins, very light. I think. I didn't use any bonding agent okay. or any weighing yeah. resins to get this. Nice smooth finish, right? No, so no bonding agent or wedding resin to get that smooth finish. Yeah, I think it looks good. It's a little over contour. Still a little over contour. Can I fix it with the 12 blade? Yeah, <laughs> but margins look sealed. Seal margins. Checking it out. That's it. Oh. Can you go over how to finish it or? Uh, sure. Now we're doing the finishing process. So if you do everything correctly, you should not have to do this step. Okay, if you're doing everything correctly, you shouldn't have to do this step. But right now we're using the white stone to smooth out the, yeah. the margins. He said that he well, could obviously mm -hmm. you need to drop the rest of the Yeah, I can see that. Out, right? And then he also mentioned show you the angle. Okay, the angulation. So you're resting on the enamel? Correct. And I'm only going to use the very tip of it. Just use the very tip of it. So anyway, from the exam, he said, well, you can fix the class two. Only going to use just the tip. Class two. Wow, you're going way back. Okay. We're doing the gentle. Yeah. So the verse slips a little bit, and I get a little yep, that was So you can either drop the rest of the box to even it, or he mentioned you could you could bevel. If it is a, if it is light, if it's not a big enough dent that you're taking off your shoes. So how do you know you have to use the white stone to smooth it out? My my margins were not completely flush. Okay. So you're gonna use the white stone if you feel that your margins aren't completely flush with the tooth surface. So, right now, it's if pretty, you bevel it here, probably something. I have a little bit of excess here. If you feel a little bit of excess in that area, using the white stone to smooth it out, we can continue with the original tooth. Well, I'm awesome. So, the slip would technically be about four of it. It would be such a small slip, it would be like a number. Yeah, you can include it in so that it balances out with the remainder. And then you have your polishing cups too? Polishing cups? Yeah, and what I would say is like take your pressure and just like, like take it in like a tooth you don't want to So now we're going to use the polishing cups. Go for polishing cups on the slow speed. And then one of the things that Dr. Tree did was take out the torque converter. We should use it. We should use it. Okay, we can leave it if we want to. Because yeah. if, okay, I'm fine. Uh, because we made sure to grab. If you know that, I'm going to talk that much, but you guys, you need to talk to her. It will, it will go through these guys like, okay. like butter. Okay. Keep the torque converter. Using this. You should be doing it with the torque multiplier in there. You should. You guys should do, yeah, do it with the torque multiplier. Um, for me, it's a little bit too slow, but. So this one. Pushing, using it to push against the, using the bottom of the, the shape cup thing, pushing against the margins, smooth it out, rinsing it, rinsing it off. Okay. That was the coarse green cup. Now, we're going to use the fine die count polishing cup. Once again, I like the upper brush. 
You've been watching? Are oh, you been recording? Yeah. And now my voice is in. Your voice is in. Here. <laughs> That's cool. Kevin Ho has just arrived. No, I've been watching over there. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can do more. Yeah, I'll do more. Yeah, the, the, the tooth is dry now. The, the tooth is dry now. Using the optic brush. You're fine. Okay, you're can use this in a tapping motion. So, the tap, 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 to tap, to tap, 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 tap. Oh, scary. Tap, 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 tap. Not applying too much force. That's a chewy deer just for a multiplayer on. I do not. I know. I, yeah, I use. Oh, okay. I, there's a disclaimer. Okay. You're gonna be using the torque multiplier. Okay. Well, it's okay. You only see the head part of it anyway. Yeah. That's okay. So now we have. I thought I'm about to follow me. Just finished tapping, and that is the final product. Notice. Okay. So notice that the. So evaluation anatomy wise. Okay. Notice that the the central groove is a little bit roughened. Okay. It's not the greatest, probably because I use my white stone. Okay. So if you, it's better to play the anatomy and leave it alone, and do all the exits, and you'll be fine. That's how you get the best okay. anatomy. Okay. But right now it's relatively smooth. Um, the trick is marginal ridge is a little thick. Marginal okay. ridge. Marginal ridge is a little it thick. It is thick. Got that thickened marginal ridge. A little bit thick. That's because these marginal ridges are quite thin. Okay. If you notice. Marginal ridge is really thin on this premolar. Uh -huh. So probably make the hot dog smaller. Yeah. 